Hey everybody, welcome back once again to yet another Jurassic Park Builder. As you can see, our roller coaster Rex is almost complete. Um, but that's not our task at hand right now. Our task at hand is to finish this Brachiosaurus uh, level up. Um, he has to be evolved. I mean, he has to be evolved. This has taken so freaking long to do. I cannot stress this enough. I literally think that I've probably been working on this for, I don't know, maybe 30 some odd hours trying to evolve him. And it's just, you know, I keep getting these freaking XP things just trying over and over and over and it's killing me. It's killing me so, so bad. And finally, you know, we're just one away. Come on, cross your fingers. This is our last chance. <laughs> all right. All right, good deal. And he, he is, of course, the arm lizard in Greek, uh, meaning that his front uh, legs are longer than his hind legs. Um, so that's where he got the name Brachiosaurus. And um, I know somebody earlier had said um, the Brontosaurus was never an actual diner, dinosaur, a diner, a dinosaur, but, um, yeah, I, I, I know, I, if I said Brontosaurus before, um, I apologize, I, I meant Brachiosaurus, it's just, you know, those dang Flintstones episodes, you know, they just screw you up young as a kid, you know, all right, um, well, Henry Wu will not shut up about this damn Ferris wheel, um, I don't know what his problem is, but apparently, he is in dire need of having this freaking Ferris wheel done. So, um, hopefully, it is now. And it is! It is! But, um, you know what? We have a ton of coins that we need to collect. So, let's get some coins collected first. There's our baby Brack. He finally hatched. Took him an eternity, but he's looking good. He's almost maxed out. Almost. But he's stomping along, singing his song. Baby Brack. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Okay, no. All right, let's see this thing. It's the grand unveiling of the Ferris wheel Rex. Yeah, Henry Wu. He's standing in line. Come on, do it. <laughs> All right, and ready? There you go. Oh, was it everything you wanted and more? Henry Wu is just like, oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, he's first in line, running up to the gates, you know. Uh, fun fact, fun fact, uh, the first uh, Ferris wheel was constructed as a landmark for, guess what? The 1893 Chicago World's Fair. Yeah. So, you know, just a nice little plug uh, for me, you know, because I'm, I'm big into uh, Chicago. But um, you probably already knew that. So, there you have it. And, you know, Wu, uh, Henry Wu, he never stopped to consider, like, what sort of effect that, uh, a Ferris wheel might have on, like, the poor Carithosaurus that's over there. Because the Carithosaurus, he's just, like, looking at that thing, and he's just, like, spinning around, his stomach's getting woozy, and he might just ate his dinner, you know? What if he tosses leaves all over his habitat? Then what are you going to do? You know? Then what are you going to do, Wu? You're just going to sit there on your Ferris wheel, all high and mighty, and say, Oh, well, the Carithosaurus, he shouldn't have been looking at the Ferris wheel. Right? Jerk. I swear. Henry Wu, not, not much of a scientist, this Mr. Wu, is he? No. No, not at all. Oh, our Pachyrhinosaurus. Is just shy of um, reaching his next stage in evolution. We'll come back to him in a little while. Um, let's see. What else can we do? You know, it's kind of ironic, um, getting back to the Ferris wheel, that, um, you know, spinning wheels were called in ancient times, they were called pleasure wheels. No joke. No joke. In ancient times, in ancient times, like the 17th century, I think, they're called pleasure wheels. And, yeah, that is, um, <laughs> it's kind of ironic when you see how happy uh, Henry Wu was 
to have that thing done. But as you see now, we've started evolution on our Trodons. And um, this, if it's anything like the Brachiosaurus, um, it's probably going to take a while. But so far we're doing good, I have to say. You know, it's got to be said. Uh, we are almost halfway done. And I'm just amazed because with that freaking Brachiosaurus, probably wasted like 700,000 coins trying to evolve him. And no joke. It was insane. But, you know, maybe we can get this thing done and finally, 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 um start to show some signs of progress with these dinos evolving. Only two more left, but we gotta come back and do those more later because we are totally out of coins. But I have to say, we did do rather well um, on that front as we head under the sea. Get ready for some ear popping fun as we go down into the depths. And our blue box is lighting up, but first we got to see our new condo. Remember that? Oh yeah. So we have a new classy underwater condo looking fine there. And I think the other one's an infirmary, right? Let's see. Is it a infirmary? Yes, it is. There you go. So now we have an infirmary next to our workshop so in case you know um anyone's helmet comes off under the sea uh they can be whisked away to the infirmary right next door and have all that water uh pumped out of their lungs and they'll be just fine oh what's going on here are they playing a dilophosaurus on us kind of looking a little dead don't they i mean they're they're just motionless oh there there we go they just needed some attention, they are just a little depressed, and now they're having some fun. Alright. Well, let's see here. Can we put down another condo maybe? I can't remember, I want to say it was like 42,000, but it might have been more. Oh no, it's 84. Dang. Alright. We could have put down another infirmary. Heck, maybe two. But, um, I don't think we need a ton of infirmaries under the sea. Because, let's face it, you know, if we need infirmaries that's up top, um, and like guarded by steel boxes, um, because, you know, that's, that's where you're gonna need them, I think. Because if you're just like, you know, going around under the sea, uh, getting in the way of, uh, eating dinos, you know, um, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be very, very bad, so, Henry Wu, new ambitions, um, saying that we have been conservative so far in our efforts, I don't really see that, because that's kind of like, you know, running a marathon, and getting to the finish line, and then, you know, you cross the finish line, and then you just, like, run to the next town, and it's like, what the hell? You know, we, we've been we've been running nonstop trying to get there, um, and see how much our dino wrangling circus is. Quite a bit. Might have to do our code red to make up some of these points. I think we will. But yeah, you know, I mean, Henry Wu, basically calling us out after he says, you know, oh, we have to have a Ferris wheel, dude. You know, it would be awesome. We need to have a Ferris wheel, and then. He calls us out for being slackers and saying that we've been conservative in our research efforts. Screw you, Wu. Seriously. Screw you. <laughs> it's awful. It's absolutely awful. And yet he still does it. He's a horrible scientist. I, th I think we need to fire him. Oh. Me, oh, me, oh, my, oh, my. Let's see here. Um. Yeah. Just waiting for our dinos to get as red as possible. The red budded dinos of Jurassic Park. Lovely.
You know what would be awesome? Is if, um, these dinos, if they got, like, so red that, um, you know, they just exploded in their, in their cell. I could see that. Because, like, every time I look at them, I think that they're just getting hot. I don't think that they're getting angry. I just think that they're getting, like, hot. And I realize that they're cold-blooded. I'm not an idiot. But doesn't it look like they're getting hot, not angry? I don't know. So. Anyway. It's like they came right off the fryer, really. Ooh. That's something to think about for the Jurassic Park restaurant. Uh, dino hot dogs and... Dino hamburgers? Be kind of like the Flintstones then, wouldn't it? I don't know. So, that was nowhere near our high score, but we got some new coins and we leveled up. Leveled up to a level 32, so how about that? And we just unlocked land. That's a little depressing, to be honest. Um, I thought for sure that we would have unlock some more plants or some more uh, buildings or something but just land that's a little weak so I think we're going to butt up all the dinosaurs that we have kind of hanging out over here and put them against the forest like yeah and We'll put our pterodactyls right next to their fountain, next to them. I should be putting these in the center, but I'm just worried about... Well, I will put that in the center. I was just saying, I'm just worried about getting them, like, you know, away from the tracks. Because, you know, they need room to to feel free, even though they're not free, because they are technically caged. Um, the pterodactyls, I don't really understand how the pterodactyls stay in their habitat. Um, maybe when they were all babies, they got their wings clipped, and now they just have to like roam around in um, that area. But that one pterodactyl was just flying, so that, uh, that takes away from that theory. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe John Hammond just like walked around a little room with the pterodactyls. Like a little 6x6 six six room. And every time the pterodactyls tried to fly, he let them fly for like two seconds and then hit them with a ruler and said, No! That's a bad pterodactyl! <laughs> and, and now the grown up pterodactyls are like looking out for a giant John Hammond uh, walking through the park with a ruler, getting ready to hit him. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. You never know what could have happened or what goes on behind closed doors here in Jurassic Park. Did you think we're ending with that? Because we're not. No, that... <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying for the record that uh, you never know. We gotta finish this research, man. We can't, we can't go away without finishing this research. So it has to be done. So... We just need to accumulate enough for one more chance at evolving our Trodons. And here we go. And if we don't get it, I will use one of my dollars to do it. <sighs> there goes my dollar. Alright, so there we have it. Trodons, identified with crocodiles and birds. And those little suckers will hatch next time here in Jurassic Park Builder.